Well, Tyson Pedro, after a long time out of the cage, you're now bringing up your third fight in less than a year. How does that feel? Fucking good. <laughs> uh, and honestly, like, uh, when, like I think we've talked about it before, like not doing what you love for so long and now getting to do it, it's, um, it feels good to be healthy after two into the next one. Just keep the ball rolling. You're fighting Mariskas Bukowskis in Perth next weekend. A new opponent, pretty late change. What do you make of that change? Obviously, you go from a guy who hasn't fought in the UFC before to a guy who's had, I think, four UFC fights and is coming yeah. back after a little bit of time outside of the promotion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, it's a harder fight for sure. Um, but uh, I feel like I'm the most prepared I've ever been for any fight. So it's been a hard camp. And uh, uh, I think because of how much uh, Eugene has switched it up and the intensity of the camp, I've feel like I've been ready for anything. So when they changed the opponent, I was like, sweet, doesn't matter. Is it a different stylistic matchup or, or is it pretty similar? Uh, you know, another not, not, guy. Necessarily, not necessarily. Yeah, not necessarily. They have um, definitely different tendencies as does every fighter, uh, but both strikers with a, a little bit of uh, ground game. So uh, not, not a crazy change up in game plan. There's a couple of things that we're able to work on and switch up for, me to concentrate on but not nothing the funda uh, fundamentals still say the same you'd have pretty happy memories of perth um last time you fought there things went pretty well for you yeah yeah keep the ball rolling for Perth. i'd love to go two for two in terms of coming back to australia just how excited are you to finally get uh you know back in front of the, the home fans i know you've been to a few of the events in australia and new zealand while you were out yeah, yeah, I'll probably be in a different state this time uh, to the when, when I was visiting as a fan. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's um, man, home crowd always treats me good. So yeah, hopefully I can keep putting on a show for them. They'll keep giving me the love. This will be a third full full camp uh, under City Kickboxing. How has I guess your game developed over those three camps? Like, has there been anything noticeable that has kind of come along each time you've come back here? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Fight IQ's gone like uh, just, especially when you're learning new, uh, like the learning curve so so fast. So, um, uh, what I was learning as fundamentals in the first couple camps is starting to become like second nature, and that's uh that's a good thing to have when you're in the fight game. I was a little bit away from fighting. I saw on, I think it was Dan Hooker posted, you've been doing a little bit of uh, volunteer work around. Can you just tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's called Everybody Eats. Uh, I got asked if I wanted to come down and uh, it's pay what you feel. So um, they're doing real cool things out there and I just liked the idea straight away. So I think our next camp I'll be down there volunteering a bit more. Um, it's uh, We're in a very selfish sport so i think it's uh it's a good thing to go back and give yeah when you where you can yeah i know you weren't the only one down there a lot of people uh in the gym sort of got got down there and got behind yeah. and gave the yeah, team back. Uh, there was, there was, yeah yeah there was eight of us from city kickboxing um and uh same same thing they're all just fighters um giving back and i uh, just like uh yeah, it was nice to be asked to do it, but um, it was ni nice to see all the team repping out there as well. Like, uh, There's a lot of good people in the gym. You say fighting is a very selfish sport. Can you kind of just, I guess, elaborate on that a little bit more for people who might be watching this from yeah. sort of outside the game? Yeah, well, hmm. essentially, like, martial arts, like, we're trying to better ourselves each day, and... Uh, I'm only focused on me getting better. So um, at the moment, I'm away from my family and uh, they're at home, my wife and daughter's at home in Australia so that I can be on this journey to um, get to where I want to in fighting. So that's like that's about as selfish as it gets. And uh, luckily, I have a family that's understanding of it. But um, uh, yeah, being in a different country, I've been away for eight, maybe nine months this year. And my daughter's one and a half. So it's uh, definitely a selfish sport. Well, in my experience, I'm sure that. 
I'm assuming that uh, side of things doesn't get any easier leaving the uh, wife and kid at home. Yeah, for sure. But uh, it doesn't make it easier for my opponent either because uh, they're keeping me away from my family. <laughs> so that's uh, sort of like the mental game that runs for runs for me. And just, just talking about back home, obviously we saw the uh, Drink West Brewery had a sort of soft launch for, for yourself, Ben. In, in the businessman perspective, yeah. how, how nice is that to, to I guess, see that yeah. um, project come along as far as it has and, I guess, preparing to launch properly soon? Yeah. Well, for someone who grew up not knowing about anything, mortgages or, like, renting or businesses or anything, uh, never. it's pretty cool to be a part of having our own brewery out west uh, and where people can just come and enjoy and have a good time. Um, uh, it's a it's all thanks to the team that's back home, Ty, Nate, the, all and our business partners and uh, every all the shareholders, everyone that's been able to make it happen. Uh, that's a testament to them because I've I've done nothing for the opening uh, in the past couple of weeks because it's just been full fighting. So uh, thank you to all of them at home doing that. Uh, and yeah, I, that wouldn't be possible without them. I saw that the the proper launch was kind of set for mid February. Was that timed for after your fight? Uh I, I, I don't know. For, to be honest, <laughs> I don't know the timings. Everything, man. Like other, like Modestus. That's like <laughs> this. That's everything right now. So, uh, um, yeah. Uh, the family. We we the change. The dates have changed a few times because of logistics and stuff. Uh, but uh. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. It will be open when I get there, so it's game on. We mentioned that Modestus has been in the UFC before. Have you seen him fight? And if so, what yeah. do you feel he does particularly well that might cause troubles? Yeah, um, he's got a a, a good one too. Like he looks fast. He's like I said, he looks more dangerous than the last guy. Uh, um, as, as an all-round fighter to me, anyway. Uh, and yeah, I'm like, I think I've got the answers to any questions he's going to give. So, um, it's um, it's good that he had a couple of fights because um, uh, Ming Yang didn't have anything really to watch on him. So, that uh, that's a positive. But, but yeah, man, I, honestly, I'm just ready to fight. I've been ready to fight for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> it's been like, yeah, ready to jump in there. So, man, I guess just lastly, um, ah, Shane, the same thing earlier. But for yourself, what's the the plan over the next week or so? Uh, so, just um, there's uh, I've held on to a bit of weight this this camp. Just um, I felt really light last camp, so I kept on a bit more weight. So the weight cut will be a bit uh harder. Um, but honestly, just relaxing, get to go see my family before the fight. So before I go back into battle, get to see my queen and my baby, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just um, staying focused now. Like everything's gone perfect this camp. I can't. Uh, there's there's nothing that I could think that has hindered and I, I feel mentally the best I've felt. So I'm just ready to go. So, man, well, I'll leave it there and let you get about your day. Thank you very much for the Thank time. So and much. hope all goes to plan. Awesome. Thank you, brother. Good to see you again. Likewise. See ya.